now we have our cluster up and ready for use with three mods and three OSD. So we'll see some other aspects of Ceph like creating pools, creating erasure profiles, creating erasure pools and images. So under Ceph pools, you will see the list of pools that are available and you can also perform some tasks like deleting a pool, assigning quotas. So we will start by creating a pool. When you select create pool, you have two options to create a replicated pool or a erasure pool. So we start by creating a replicated pool, select replica. Let's name it as pool 1, the number of pgs you want, the, num the replica size and the quota. So let's disable the quota right now and select create. So your pool is created with 128 placement groups and no quota assigned and the size is 3 replica. Let's have a look at dashboard. So here you can see that you have 128 placement groups in your cluster and all are active and clean. We go back to pools. We can also assign a quota to a pool by editing the pool. You can also change the replica size and also assign a quota. So let's say we assign a quota of 100 GB and just click on update. So here the quota is assigned. This is a hard limit. You can also edit the quota anytime. You can make it 200 GB. And the quota size is changed. You can also add a cache here. So we will create an eraser pool. So you can select create pool and eraser the type. You will have to select the eraser profile. So currently we have only one eraser profile that is default. So first have a look at the profile or you can also create a new profile under eraser profile. So here that is the name of the profile, the object chunks and coding chunks. You can create a new profile or delete an existing profile. So let's name it as my EC profile, the chunks. So the number of chunks plus the coding chunks, object chunks plus coding chunks should not exceed the total number of OSDs. So as of now we have only uh, 3 OSDs so we will make it as 2 plus 1. Okay, so you have your profile available here. Now we go back to pools. Create a new eraser pool. Let's name it as EC pool one. Select the profile, and again you can select the quotas and placement groups. Click on create. So you have a eraser pool created and the profile which we use was my EC profile with 128 placement groups. You can also add a cache here on top of your eraser pool. So let's create a replica pool which will act as a cache pool. So now we have three pools, pool 1 which is replica, EC pool 1 which is an eraser pool and cache pool 1 which is again a replica pool. 
now we want to add this cache pool as a cache tier to ec pool 1 so you can do this by clicking on the add cache tier button this is the pool name and the cache pool that you want to use so let's select ec uh, cache pool 1 and create it will also set the write back cache mode and the flush and dirty ratio so here you go so ec pool 1 is a eraser pool 1 and cache pool 1 is now a cache tier for pool id 60 you can also remove the cache tier from here This will flush all the data, set the pool mode to forward and remove the cache tier. And later, you can also delete the pools. You can either select a single pool or multiple pool and click on delete pools. This will show you a warning that both these pools will be deleted and all the data in the pools will be deleted and is not recoverable. and both these pools are deleted so this was the operation of pools now we can also create rbd images within a pool by going to self images this will list the current status of current list of images that are available in the cluster currently we have no images let's create one more pool We create pool one, pool two. Again, let's set the size as three and number of pgs as one twenty eight. We go back to images. So under self image, you have this button to create an image. Now. You can select the pool in which you want to create this image, name the image, the size of the image in gigabytes and the object size ranging from 4 KB to 32 MB. So the default size being 4 MB. So let's set the image size as 1 GB and create. So here we have an image in pool 1 named as image 1 size as 1 GB and the object size as 4 MB bytes. we can resize the image reduce or expand the size we can delete this image also create snapshots and clones of this image so we will see the resize feature first you can resize the image quickly just by changing the size now I change the size from 1 GB to 2 GB and click update the image has been resized to 2 it can also be we can also reduce the size back to 1 resizing is again done we will see the delete feature later on now we can also create a snapshot of this image snapshot will create a copy of the image with at the current status of the image so if you have multiple snapshots available of the image of this pool 1 image 1 it will be listed here you can create a new snapshot by clicking on create snapshot let's name it as snap1 so you have this snapshot ready let's create one more snapshot snap2 so you have two snapshots here snap1 and snap2 again you can delete these snapshots roll back these snapshots rolling back so all the data in the image will be rolled back to the snapshot saved state 
and you can also create a clone out of this snapshot so I'll show you a rollback first so let's roll it back to snap1 it will complete the process now again this time of rollback depends on the size of the image now it has been rolled back to snap1 you can also delete the snapshot and create a clone from the snapshot currently it is listing the clones within the snapshot as we have no clones let's name it as clone 1 and you can select the pool where you want the clone to be so Ceph allows us to create a clone within the same pool or a different pool so we can create a clone of a snapshot of an image within the same pool or different pool and it can also help us to move one image to another image or copy one image to another pool so we can create a clone and later on detach the clone from its parent snapshot so we create a clone 1 in pool 2 click on create so we have a clone within snap 1 which is a snapshot of pool 1 image 1 we can also create multiple clones so we have two clones available here which is with both of the clones are in pool 2 when we go back to images Now we can see our primary image and two clones of this image. We can also create snapshot of this clone and later on again create clones of this clones again. So when we select snapshot under image 1, you will see this available snapshots here. The clones, the available clones of the snapshot, you can flatten the clone flatten clone will detach it from its parent snapshot and now will be available as a separate image once it is flattened it is detached from the snapshot and is not listed under, under the clones but will be available under images So under pool 2 we have clone 2 which is now detached. You can also delete the images, delete the snapshots. So I will show you by deleting image 1. All data will be deleted and is irrecoverable, it will give a warning. But it has not deleted the image and it has given the message that this image has snapshots and so it is not able to remove this image. So we will have to first delete the snapshots. Okay, we have this snapshot. Let's try deleting this snapshot. Okay, again it didn't delete this because it says that at least one children in pool pool two. It has a clone which is available in pool two. So we have to delete the clone first. So that's pool 2 clone 1. We'll have to delete this clone first. Okay, now we have no clones. Now we will be able to delete this snapshot and now also the image. Okay. 
so now we have only one image that is clone 2 which was a clone of image 1 but now is detached from the image 1 and can be used as a separate image so this were the operations of pools, erasure profile and image.